Hey everyone, um, it's me, pandemic yoga number, I don't know, I think we're up to five. And um, in order to get the widest um, view, you're actually going to see the messiest part of my house. So, you know, this is also like honesty yoga. Um, I think it's really important, uh, I'm finding, and I think for everyone, that um, we are regulating ourselves and trying to feel in about when we need more movement and when we need to do things that will calm us down. So um, there's can be a propensity to kind of like curl up into fetal, AKA Netflix mode. Um, and some of that is definitely warranted and probably just what our nervous systems need. And then there's also a need for uplifting and being a little more um, activating of our, of our energetic system. And only you can really feel into what's necessary for you at any given time. And wanna, if you're like, I'm not sure, then I would say playing with both and, and then actually pausing afterwards and noticing like, well, how did that make me feel? What was the effect of that particular practice? So this is going to be a little faster than what I often do. Um, it's not going to be super hard, but it is going to be faster. And I'm going to try through most of it and keep up a one, two, three count. Um, I was just doing this before on my own, and I was actually um, using kind of a straw breath through pursed lips, so a um, sort of a, a um, giving birth Lamaze breath, I guess you will. Um, if you have a practice of a different kind of breathing style with yoga, please use that. That's fine. Um, I just found this to work for me today. Um, if you're, you may want, want to fast forward through this real quick and just kind of get a sense of what I'm going to do and then try and do it along with, um, or just have fun, you know, trip, fall, I'm, you know, hyperbolizing a little, but, um, just have fun with it and mainly just know that it's about moving. And, um, I just have a little bit of music going also just to move me along. So, all right. You don't need any props. Um, so we're going to start um, just by taking those easy swinging twists. And you're going to bring a breath into it. So
draw your hands together. Bring your head down, stretching across here. Three breaths. Bring your hands up. Back to the Y. Cactus. Hands together, broad across the back. Three breaths. Hands come up. One more time through. Y. And cactus. Forward. And up. And then go ahead and bring your hands down to your knee. Open to the right. Bring hand back to the knee. Open to the left. Back to the knee. Open to the right. Continuing. And coming back to center, place your hands on the mat, curl your toes, step back into downward dog, and take three of those breaths. Up onto the balls, three breaths. Heels down, and knees back down, opposite foot comes forward, up into a Y. Three breaths. Cactus, and come together, separate the shoulder blades, up with the hands, Y, and cactus, and hands together, hands up, Y, cactus, and hands together, and hands up to the sky, hands down to the knee, open behind you, and come on back. And then opposite side, and come on back. And just continuing that, we're taking three on each side. And coming on back. And then come down onto your knees. Bring your legs together. Curl your toes and come back onto your feet. Okay? And then we're going to ha, 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 ha. Three more. Ha, ha. And ha. Great, come on to your hands, tap out your feet. Wonderful, and curl your toes, come up onto downward dog, three breaths through the nose, or through the first lips. Up onto the ball, heels down. Step your left foot forward, Come onto your fingertips into a runner's lunge and look ahead. And then drop your knees. Inhale, come up. Inhale. Hands to the heart. Three breaths. And open into a twist. Hands come back to heart. Come up onto the toes. Inhale. Hands to the heart, open into the twist. Back to the heart, hands come forward, step forward, hold your elbows for three longer breaths. Great, hands to shins, inhale, look up, hold it for three, one, two, three, come back down, and now step your left foot back, knee comes down, inhale, reach up, breathe, hands to heart, breathe, open, three, hands come back to heart, breathe, 
hands down, come back up into that runner's lunge, and inhale up, hands to heart, and twist, hands to heart, hands come down, step forward, pull the elbows, soft knees, three long breaths. Right. Go ahead and step the right foot back. We're going to come up into warrior two, so you can angle that back foot, bend the front knee. Look that you've healed the toe, heal the arch alignment. Look over your front arm. Inhale up and exhale. Let those shoulders fall. Look over that front hand and three breaths. Drop your back hand open. Forward, reach. And back to warrior two, three. And hands cartwheel down, back into downward dog. Three breaths here. And then step the opposite foot forward for words you on the opposite side. Three breaths. Reverse. Hands forearm to side. Three breaths. Back to warrior two. Cartwheel the hands down. Back into downward dog. Three breaths. Shift your weight forward, and we're going to take six long breaths here in plank. Always fine to put your knees down. And after you've completed six breaths, your knees come down. Come down onto the belly, keep your elbows in close, and come up into a little cobra. And come back down. We're going to take three cobras all together. And last one. And come down. Come back into table pose. Go ahead and extend your right leg and reach with your left. And inhale and exhale three times. And again. And another three. And bring that down. And then extend opposite. And three. And another. And another. Great. And... Float those down, curl your toes, press back into downward dog, and then step yourself forward into forward fold. Bend your knees so that your belly is on your thighs, reach forward and come up into chair pose, and three breaths here. And another three, and a final three. And come on up and separate your hands down. Take a wide stance with your toes at a diagonal toward the corner of your mat. And then we're going to reach out into five-pointed star and come down into goddess. And breathe. And five-pointed star. And And final time, and this time come down, and then reach in front, and ha, 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 and three more, ha, 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 great. So go ahead now and turn your toes so they're more straight, and hinging at the hips, come all the way down. Walk yourself over toward your right foot and inhale up and three easy breaths. One, two, 
three, sweep down through center, over to the left. Inhale, one, two, three, down through center. Again, on each side. Inhale, right up. Exhale, down. And last one over here. Reaching up through the left. And coming back down. Heel toe your feet together so you can come into a fairly wide squat. Don't worry if your heels don't touch the ground. Okay? Bring your hands into prayer. Sit up nice and tall. Okay? And then again, reach forward. Three more. Great. And then reach up. Really active hands looking up. Arms and fingers are working. Great. Bring your hands back into prayer and then hands come down and then face the front of your mat, come down onto your forearms, interlace your fingers, step your feet back and come into a forearm plank. So here, just find your strength in your legs, press actively into the forearms. Find strength in the belly, a little heat. Nice, and then let the knees come down and come down on the belly for just a moment. Take a few breaths here. <sighs> Great, come back up, come on to your forearms. Elbows are right under your shoulders, fingers spread wide. Come into Sphinx, draw your elbows toward your hips, open through your heart. And go ahead and soften, press back into child's pose. You might move your hips just a little left to right. You might be still, whatever feels good. <sighs> and then go ahead and come on up. So we're going to end with um, a bumblebee breath. So if you haven't done this before, um, you are going to Eventually, use your peace sign fingers to cover your eyes. You're going to use your ring finger right under your nose. Your little finger goes right under your bottom lip. And then your thumbs close up your ears. Okay? And the idea behind this, so is it, the humming sound calms the nervous system. It um, is actually related to um, the vagal nerve. So if you look up um, the vagal nerve, there's tons of fascinating stuff. Um, and it is very responsible for our flight, flight, fright, freeze. Um, so it's a good thing to know about and to know how to regulate it. Um, and I just find this to be a very calming going inside. And I also really like the kind of buzz so um, we're just going to do five of these, okay? And I'll start, and so watch one and then start with me. So fingers closed, ears closed, and then inhale through the nose. Hmm. Really exhale as long as you can, and also the tongue up on the roof of the mouth has a nice vibration to it. All right, let's begin. Five. Mm 
done, just sit, taking in the quiet or whatever sounds are around you. Hmm. So I think that's one of the best things about doing something a little more activating is then when you stop, there's that Kind of delicious stillness, um, which which is really gives you a sense of what you've done and where you are. Okay. Oh, wow. Keep going, people. I'm here. Reach out. And um, just keep being together, finding small ways to support each other however we can. All right. Take care.